Well, you might remember last year we were in this booth, Play OK Antiques, all kinds of antique sporting equipment from baseball, basketball, football, hockey, you name it, they've got it. But something kind of interesting happened. This is Brett Lohman, we talked to last year. Something interesting happened. You got a, an email from the folks working on the Jackie Robinson movie. Yes, we did. We got an email um, a couple of years ago uh, from a gentleman who worked for a prop company, and he said uh, they were doing a biopic or a, a biography movie on uh, Jackie Robinson, and they were looking for gloves from that era that they were going to use in the movie. And I said, well, I have some. And so I put together a pile for them, and they were looking for a specific type of glove. They wanted gloves that they could use because I guess the players were going to actually use them in the movie, and they didn't want laces busted and things like that. Um, so I put together a pile and sent it down, and they used them in the movie. And so the gloves that you see in the movie are actually vintage gloves. And stuff that you've picked up anywhere and everywhere. Yeah, mostly from flea markets and <laughs> antique shows and things like that. And, you know, they were used many years ago, and then they found a new purpose in a movie. So it's kind of fun to see what happened to them. And you actually haven't seen the movie yet, though, right? No, I haven't had a chance. i got two young kids, and yeah. you know how that goes. It's hard to find time to see the movie. But you're getting credits. I mean, I see the name every once in a while. You're not in the screen credits necessarily, but we see, see your name associated with the movie. So that's kind of a nice little yeah, publicity. Yeah, it was fun. You know, there was a couple other glove collectors that had the same opportunity that got to... Um, you know, sell some gloves to the prop guys, and so it's fun for our hobby, and it helps promote, um, you know, collecting gloves, which is a great thing to do. Just so we know what people are talking about, th these are the types of gloves, these date back to the 40s, right? Yeah, absolutely, from the 1940s, um, we have a, a couple different split finger models here, you know, they were mainly looking for fielder's gloves, um, they did purchase a couple of uh, first baseman smiths and a couple of uh, catcher smiths, but obviously you have seven people in the field, and <laughs> one catcher and one first baseman smith, you don't need as many of those. Yeah. So, and you're open to more movie offers, right? Absolutely. Any prop <laughs> companies out there that need vintage gloves or bats or any sports equipment, feel free to contact us. We'd be happy to help you out. Anything in the last year? I mean, you, you, you spend most of your days going to flea markets, antique shows, yes. and, and whatever. Anything else exciting that's happened to um, you? You know, I, my favorite antique show, obviously, is Brimfield in Massachusetts. It's probably the largest one in the country. And I found a really great glove this year that I was excited about. It's uh, I can show it to you yeah. over here if you want to see it real quick. It's a um, goldsmith glove from the teens, and it has uh, the YMCA stamping on it, um, which signifies that it was uh, an issue during World War I. And this glove's in fantastic condition, very soft and supple, has all the original silver in it, um, and it still has uh, the goldsmith patch on the back, and this is a very rare goldsmith patch that's not seen very often, if at all. So it was kind of a cool find. You don't get to see many good gloves like this at uh, antique shows and flea markets anymore. So it was like, yay, when it came across it. So it's still fun to get out there and, and uh, search for treasure. And this is a, the National is a place where you see a lot of people looking for the type of things that you have. These are where the serious collectors are coming. Yeah, the, you have serious collectors coming, but you also have a lot of people that might be card collectors or collecting other things, and they walk by our booth here and they say, oh, that's pretty cool. I'd like my basement to look like that, or <laughs> that glove would look great with my Mickey Mantle card or my Babe Ruth card or something like that. So, um, you know, for from a decorative standpoint, you know, it catches people's eyes and might turn them on to this line of collecting too. Yeah.